Welcome to HIPAA Privacy Rule regarding the patient's right to access and amend the health record. I'm Dr. Michael Warner with Patient Advocacy Initiatives. Before we get started, please answer three quick questions. Most people in healthcare know about HIPAA. HIPAA is the Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act of 1996. You may think of it as a bunch of regulations that require signatures and safeguards, and you would be correct. You may not, however, have been told the big picture of HIPAA. This mammoth law was designed by lawmakers to prepare healthcare for information technology. They knew that the digital age would finally come to healthcare in the practice of medicine. The earliest missions of HIPAA were to regulate how healthcare information, such as patient's health record, should be stored, and how that information, whether in paper or electronic form, should be transmitted. This began a nationwide effort to start the digital age of healthcare. In the last module, we reviewed the meaningful use incentives, which gave bonus payments to doctors and healthcare institutions for the adoption of electronic health records, EHRs. Meaningful Use Stage 2 required a certain percentage of patients to view, download, and transmit health data. You've likely heard from your patients that they have checked their laboratory results on a patient portal. They may have requested a medication refill from your practice through the portal messaging system. Once portals allow viewing of the entire record, you can expect greater patient and caretaker interest to view, download, and transmit. Moving forward with the Big Data Plan, the Medicare Access and Chip Reauthorization Act of 2015, MACRA, calls for patient-generated health data, PGHD, as part of the objective to coordinate care through patient engagement. MACRA streamlines the tracking of eligible providers by combining quality measures into one program. MACRA absorbs the meaningful use stages. An interesting component of Meaningful Use Stage 2 was the mandate for a, a health record access activity log. Certified electronic rec health record technology must have this as a function. The activity log displays whether the record was viewed, downloaded, or transmitted. It shows the date and the time of each action. It also shows who took the action. This log allows patients and their providers to know who looked at the patient's health record and when. You may think that allowing patients to read and amend their health record will open Pandora's box. I'm telling you that Pandora's box has already been opened. And it's only a matter of time before patients realize that the box is open. With rights to access and amend, what will it unleash? What will patients be like as consumers of healthcare? To get a better understanding of the consumer, let's look at policy. The Fair Credit Report Act of 1974 gave each of us rights as consumers in the retail market. This act specified that we were allowed to view our purchasing records and our credit score for accuracy. We were also given the right to dispute any errors or misrepresentations. As a matter of fact, retailers were also required to accommodate a consumer's wish to access transition records, and fix mistakes, or else face federal fines and sanctions. As consumers in the marketplace, we were encouraged to read our purchasing information, which included our cash register receipts and bills, such as our monthly credit card statements, in order to check for accuracy. In similar fashion, the privacy rule, fully known as the Standards for Privacy of Individually Identified Health Information, became the final rule of HIPAA in 2003. This law defined patients rights as consumers of healthcare. Patients have the right to request to access their health record. This means that patients can read and review uh, what is written in the record. Patients also have the right to request to amend the health record. This means that patients have an opportunity to correct mistakes, contribute information to their health record. Detailed rules have been legislated and agencies have, been, have poised themselves to help patients and protect their rights. The Office for Civil Rights, OCR, is empowered to assign civil money penalties and criminal prosecution against providers who violate the privacy rule of HIPAA. A government online complaint portal, 
and toll-free telephone support both exist to receive complaints and initiate investigations. Patients reading and amending the health record has clear intentions to make the health record accurate and to encourage patient engagement in healthcare. But the implementation of this policy faces disastrous unintended consequences. And we are going to explore these unwanted consequences and provide solutions to you as a physician leader. I thank you for participating in this module. In the next module, we will address the patient as a case. First, please answer a few questions.